welcome to the Wachusett Area Chamber of Commerce Business Showcase. I'm Jen Stanovich and I will be your host as we learn more about the many businesses located in the Wachusett Area. Today we're talking about one of the most popular gathering spots in Holden, Sweets and Java, a local coffee shop that serves up your favorite morning beverage and so much more. Joining us is Kathy Deal, the owner of Sweets and Java. Hi Kathy. Hi Jen. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Let's go back eight years. Eight years. You were in the corporate world and you decided to follow your dream and open a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Um, well, I, um, my husband and I had reached a point where um, after working and raising the boys, they had graduated from college. Um, it was just the two of us. We were ready for something a little more challenging. and. Um, exciting to do and um, s this opportunity came our way and we decided to take a leap of faith and and go for it. Mm -hmm. so and when you opened the doors you were in a different location initially. Right? We were. We were down at 1207 Main Street which is down across the street from the town hall mm -hmm. um, in that nice cute little building with minimal parking and um, limited seating. So um, two years ago, it'll be two years in August, we moved to 1059 Main Street which is in the Talbots Plaza and um, we have much better she seating. Um, it's easier in access for parking and yeah, it's been a great move. And it's a beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So coffee is serious business for people, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, it is. What makes your coffee special? Um, well, we have, um, we use two local coffee roasters, Armeno, which is in Northborough, um, small family owned business. They've been around for many years and um, they make a great quality product, bringing beans in from all over the world. and. Um, um, Red Barn, which is also a very well-known uh, local family-owned business, and they're in Upton, Mass. And um, we've been using both of those roasters for, um, well, really since the beginning. And, um, and they just make a great cup of coffee. And then, of course, I have great baristas who add a lot of love right. and personality. So um, it's a good mix. But it yeah. takes some training to make all of these coffees. They the get pretty fancy, right? Yes. The espresso drinks definitely do. Um, get a little fancy and we make them to order so um, they're all handcrafted drinks and we use quality um, syrups in our drinks the Monin syrups which is made in Italy and um, all natural ingredients so yeah it, it's it's all good yeah it's an art it's an art, yeah. But you offer more than coffee, though, too. For the non-coffee drinkers, you've got them covered. Oh, we definitely do. We have a wide variety of loose leaf teas. Um, we also have um, homemade lemonade. We have iced tea. We have uh, matcha and chai, which is really nice. We make our own chai mix with organic spices. Um, it's not overly sweet and coming out of a box. We make it right mm. there. Um, our smoothies, which we make um, all day long, all year long, are made, um, they're frozen fruit based. So they're all natural with um, milk and, and Greek yogurt. So yeah. many options. Yes, yes. And beyond the beverages, let's talk about the sweets in Sweets and Java. Mm -hmm. You are a baker. Yes, I've been baking for years, uh, mostly for friends and family. And um, when I bought the bakery, the one thing I noticed was um, our homemade bakes goods were, our homemade baked goods were definitely um, something that our customer base was looking for. And that business has just taken off. So um, we have a couple girls that bake for us, uh, my sister being one of them. When mm -hmm. she retired, she decided to join me and she works with me a couple days a week. And that's somewhat of a dream come true as well, being oh, able bet. to work with Patsy and um, um, spend time with her. So um, we make a lot of my mom's recipes and a lot of family things that we've been making for years, but we've also branched out and um, we make everything from muffins to cookies to um, cakes and beyond. Yeah. What would you say are some of the favorites? I know what my favorites are, but... Yeah, so one of my most popular things is our carrot cakes with cream cheese frosting. I would have to say that's probably one of the favorites. And the raspberry squares, the almond cloud cookies. Um, the lemon bars. The lemon bars, yes. Um, and we make a variety of cookies that we're always changing up. We're, we're constantly changing our um, menu and what we provide. So. Um, we have our standards, our staples, and then we'll switch it up and make something new. And um, this week, I think we have Swiss rolls out that um, are really good. And um, what about gluten-free? 
We also offer gluten-free items. Um, we have a gluten-free muffin. We have vegan muffins. Um, uh, we have gluten-free cookies. So um, we do have, we try to provide something for everybody. Um, we have overnight oats, which are a nice quick breakfast option, and those are gluten-free as well, um, a little bit on the healthier side. Mm -hmm. um, so that's nice. And then we did bring in a couple different lines of packaged items that are certified gluten-free, nut-free, um, vegan, so we don't have to worry about people with celiac that have right. true dietary restrictions. And beyond the sweets, you offer some breakfast oh, staples sure. and mm -hmm. some breakfast specialties too, right? Yeah, we make um, quiche uh, fresh every morning. Our quiche is very popular, a lot of people order it. Um, and then we um, also on the weekends, we'll have a brunch braid, um, which is a really nice um, butter, puff pastry wrapped around ham and scrambled eggs and baked up with a little everything seasoning on it. The cafe smells amazing when that's baking. Um, and then uh, we do baked egg sandwiches. We do um, the overnight oats, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the wintertime, we, we have hot um, steel cut oats that are available as well. Yeah. And then for lunch, so I mean, you can you can order breakfast, you can order lunch, you oh, can sure. sit in the cafe and mm -hmm. relax for a while. What are some of your lunch options? So our lunch options, we have a variety of sandwiches, and we had a little fun when we were making up our sandwich names. We named them after our local schools. So we've got the Wachusett, the Dawson, the Davis Hill, um, and they're. Um, they're a standard sandwich that we put on panini press, um, but we've got some nice condiments that go with them. Our caramelized onion jam is very popular. We have pesto, um, and um, yeah, they, so we have a nice lunch offering as well. We also have chili and soup in the wintertime uh, when it's a little bit colder um, to offer, and salads. We have some pasta salads, some um, couscous, and stuff like that. It's a great yeah. offering. Yeah. So for people on the fly, you know, in the morning, they're driving by and just want to grab something quick. Yeah. But can they order online from home and then just swing by? Oh, sure, yeah. You can order online from home from your phone. Um, we have an online ordering site that has uh, nice visual pictures. We just had pictures done of a lot of our products, so they're on there. Um, and then there's a little mobile order area where you pick up right inside the door. We'll have your order ready to go. And that makes um, it so easy. You have oh, plenty yeah. of parking now, too, which... Yes. It's also nice. Right? Yes. And we recently added a register down at the end where the mobile order orders are picked up. So if you want to add a pastry or something to your order that maybe wasn't available online that we just took out of the oven, right. um, you don't have to miss out. and You can skip the line and, and add it to your order right there. Oh, sounds delicious. Yeah. And catering, I know you've been doing some of this because your items are so popular. You've, you've branched out a little bit into some catering. Yes, so we have um, customers that have requested, um, like they'll want a whole quiche or um, a platter of pastries for a breakfast meeting or a brunch that they're having. And we can absolutely accommodate that. We do um, a fair amount of catering for different events. And, um, and we're happy to work with people to customize that menu. The brunch braids are available whole, quiches are available whole. Um, we do nine inch layer cakes. Um, cookie platters. Cookie platters. Yeah, around the holidays we do a lot of sure. that. Um, dessert pastry platters and breakfast pastry platters for those office meetings. Sure. Well, and yeah. I know that during the holidays a lot of people were coming in for gifts of little cookie Oh, yes. Yeah. Cookie bags, yep. just as a, as a nice little thank you, right? Yes, yeah. We did a lot of um, cookie orders over the holidays, um, platters and um, custom bagged cookies. So, um, and those are just really nice. Everybody loves a homemade cookie. So yeah. how do people get in touch with you? What's the best So way? the best way to get in touch is um, to email me at kathy at sweetsandjava.com or just to call the cafe um, from our website, which is sweetsandjava.net. Um, there should be a contact thing there where you can click on that and reach me there. Um, but you can always call the cafe and one of the girls can help you or just ask for me and I can help you. Well, thanks, Yeah. Well, well, thanks for having me, Jen. Yeah. I encourage everybody to stop by and have a cup of, cup oh, of coffee. Oh, I love it. Sweet. Delicious. Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining Thank you. us. It's been a good ride. And that wraps up this edition of the Wachusett Area Chamber Business Showcase. Again, I'd like to thank Kathy Deal, owner of Sweets and Java and Holden. Tune in next time as we learn more about local businesses in the Wachusett area. I'm Jen Stanovich. Thanks for joining us.